Hi guys, welcome to this video. This video is to show how to check the valid email address from your Google Spreadsheet and also how to re remove or clean the spacing from the name that we collect. Okay, sometimes they have like spacing like this, like in the middle they have few spacing, so actually we need just one. So when we do the arrangement like from A to Z, maybe they are might not correct. So we can use some coding to make it like rearrange and then make it properly remove the spacing. The third one is like we can create a miniature chart like from the marks and then we can indicate from the graph or chart. So we can create a miniature chart in the spreadsheet. Okay. So I will show you the first one. So first one we will do the email first. So we are going to show you how to check the email is it true or false. So it's a valid email or not valid email. So let's go to the first one. We test it. Okay. So like we type it valid email. And then we just put like equal. And then the is the function is called e, is email. And then you just put your value. So we want to check this column. Okay, and then we just press enter. So this one is a is a valid email. Okay, so this one is true. So let's pull down this function. And then we can check all the email. Is it valid email or not valid? So you can see from here and then we can do the arrangement like just click on this and then A to Z. Then we can filter the unable contact participant. Okay, next we will go for how to remove the spacing of the name. So we press this and then okay, example we have like the whole whole name like this. Okay, so we just remove all this. Then we try to rearrange and then remove all the space. Okay, then we tap like trim and then we just choose the column we want to remove the space of the name. Yeah, so you can see they automatic align. And then we just pull down the function. Okay, so you can see all is the spacing like here. They all remove and then become just one spacing and then all this align. So then now it's a proper one. These two functions are very important. Email is like you can contact the participant or the student and then the name arra arrangement is important because if you have spacing when you want to print the automatic print the certificate to the participant or the student they might cause the alignment is not correct so they will might have problem in the automatic print the certificate like the video sh show before here so you can check out these two video how to automatic create the certificate and send to the participant okay so next we will go to check how to create a miniature chart content in a single cell Okay, so let's say we have this and then we like click on equal and then spark line. Okay, then we choose the column that we want. So we can choose from here starting and then until the end. So we just press enter. Then we have the line. This one, if a default is a chart. Okay, so if you want to have a column, we can just like, we can view from learn more. They will put out the learn more and then will show us like how to make a column. Let's say we want to have a column so we can do this like just add on in here yeah so we can make it as a bar okay let's say i make two of this one will be okay so this one will be the default Okay, so this is the chart and then this is the bar. And then we also can arrange the size. Okay. Let's say you want to change the color of the bar, you can add some function here. Then we can refer to the function. Let's say here is like color. And then we can just like copy here. Okay, so let's say we just want the color. So we can delete this. So we can change to red or you want the blue color, you can just press blue. Yeah, then you will have your color. So if you want to like put into the chart, you just copy this. Just copy this and then put in and then this one is a chart. In here they call line. So we change to put line. Blue color. So if you want the 
red, we just press red. Okay, so this is the three function of this video. Next, I can show you the proper one from the Google Form Direct. So let's say this Google Form they have like we use as a user. So this one example form name marks and your email. So you put your name, let's say YS, and then you have like lost space. Okay, accidentally you press the space here and then your marks and then your email, then I put just like okay. So we just press submit, submit the form. And then we go back to the, the response and then we click on the cell. Okay, so you can see from here, then we can test if you want to check the email, is it true or false. And we just press equal, is email, then the column that we want. Okay, now they can check like automatic, this is a valid email or not valid. So you can very really easy to filter out the participant that is ready to contact or not ready to contact. Okay, so next will be the name. So we just press equal trim and then to clean up all the name spacing. So we can press this. Yeah, we want this column starting and then we pull down. Yeah, they will automatically rearrange for us. So actually they have another function automatic in the Google form that can help you to check the validity of the email address. Let's go to the Google form. You can check in the setting. Just press on the setting and then collect the email address. This is collect email address, they automatically check the value of the email address. So let's say we try it as a user. So they automatically help you to check. If this doesn't pass, they not allow you to submit your form. So let's try another one. So you can see this is a valid email address, so you can skip the function of to check the value of the email address. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you like my video, please like it and remember to subscribe my channel. Thank you.